Hello, everybody. First, I would like to apologize for not scheduling this. Second, I would like to apologize that I'm late. We normally go 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time where we're trying to restart our Thursday night live streams. So, and I didn't schedule it. It's been such a crazy day. I just got home. It's snowing outside. Um, so I got home a little bit later than I'd planned on. So um, hopefully somebody will join me tonight. And if not, I'll just have a little quick chat and then we'll go ahead and get off. But um, the girls have play practice. The play starts in seven days. Um, it's really crazy. So um, I had to take them up to play practice and it's snowing like crazy. So it took me a little bit longer. Hey, Tammy Hansen and Homesteading in the Highlands. Hello. Thanks for joining us. I'm sorry. It's just me tonight. Um, the two littles are watching a movie in the other room. And as I just said, the two bigs are at play practice. And Jonah is actually having some health problems um, over the last couple of weeks. He's been having a lot of stomach pains. We wasn't sure if it was his gallbladder or his uh, um, pancreas and so he's been to the doctor today and they actually think it might be an ulcer so he's not feeling super great so it's just me tonight hello sarah king and uh the music well hello life in the up and uh is it rohan hello chubb family hello i haven't checked in on you guys lately i hope you're doing well and little chubbs i hope she's doing good but i'm so glad you guys came i'm really i feel bad we didn't schedule this so um, I'd like to apologize for anybody watching the re rechat that may have missed that may have missed me coming. So how's the weather? Where you guys are at? Um, like I said, it's snowing a lot here. We're really excited. Um, Mama grows in the house. My person is like she is my person too. You guys, she is on the quest to hit a thousand subscribers before the year's over. Please go show Mama Grows some love. Thank you for being a moderator tonight. Really appreciate it. Hello, Marge and the Red Shed Mini Homestead. Did I already say hi to you? If I did, sorry, but hello. Hello, Claire. Awesome, Chubb family. I'm glad that everybody's doing great. Awesome. Thank you, Tammy, for that thumbs up. It's weird being here by myself. So... <laughs> Awesome. So, and I, I'm so bad at pronouncing names. I'm so sorry. So Ohio is cold, rainy, and black, you know, black. It was really it's gray and gross. Mama Grows is about three hours south of me, and she said it's been super gray and gross today. Mama Grows is 200 away from um, hitting a thousand. So guys go show her some love. Yes, I think you can do it. Um, Howard case, I was going to Marco you tonight and say, where the heck are you? Where the heck are you? <laughs> I've missed talking to you. Um, anyway, so cold and wet in Oregon says Marge. I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, anyway, so, oh, I missed it. Um, M Mati, the leaves are falling and the seasons are changing that. I love that. I love the fall. It is my favorite. Um, let's see, Homestead in the Highlands. It's blowing a, a huli in North Scotland, but surprisingly warm for this time of the year. That's good. I hope that's good for you guys. Snowing in Michigan. Sarah is a Sarah King is about an hour and a half south of me. So it's raining and cold here. I wish it would just snow, right? It's so beautiful and it's big chunks of snow. I should have asked, can you guys hear me okay? Can you see me okay? I hope everything's good. Um, let's see. We want to hit 500 subs. Yes, Chubb family. You know, I really like them. They're just, they make me happy. Um, Mr. Chubbs reminds me a lot of my little brother and, um, I don't know, just your personalities. And so I really, when I, when I, I like to, I like to watch your cute little family when I get a chance. So check out the Chubb family vlog. Um, they're trying to hit 500. We are almost to 7,000. I am so excited. I think last time I checked, I had less than 20 to go. I'm like, Oh, we're almost there. So that's really cool. Um, thank you, Claire. Um, or I enjoy her videos. Is that mama grows? Yes. I love, I love, I love my mama grows. Um, Shannon, thank you. I hope Jonah feels better soon. We have 12 in 12 inches of snow on the ground. Wow. In New York. That's crazy. Yeah. I hope he gets feeling better too. It's been, he's been struggling with some pains for a little while now. He's just been, you know, dealing with it. And so we've been seeing a natural path. And then he suggests we go to a regular doctor to maybe get some scanning and stuff done. So we're working closely with both doctors. 
and we're just going to kind of see what we can do for him. So blowing a hoolie means seriously windy. <laughs> that's, that's what I wondered. Did I say it right? A hoolie? <laughs> Just been living the dream here in Indiana, right, Howard? Right. <laughs> awesome. Oh, good, Sarah. Thank you. She's always good with the audio and video. Awesome. Um, Grateful Sunites. Hello. Thank you for joining us. That's another YouTube channel you guys should go check out is the Grateful Sunites. They actually used to live here in Idaho and they have moved to Missouri to the promised land. Apparently, everybody's going to Missouri. We're not for right now. <laughs> awesome. So this is Mr. Chubbs joining us. Hello. Awesome. Okay. Hello, Jan. Thanks for joining us. Two Wild Onions Homestead. Awesome. Larry and Leisha. Hello from West Virginia. How's the weather there? Is that, Mama Girls, is that where we went for the conference? I am so bad with my geography. Um, I'll admit I paid off my teacher in geography with Diet Coke to uh, assist my grade. <laughs> I mean, no, I didn't. Hey, hello, Paige. She's in the house. Um, you'll see it in the vlog. I think I recorded it yesterday. We finally got to the post office. Thank you. Sam put together his Lego. I let him stay up a little bit late. He's been playing with it all day. He's really loved it. So thank you. Um, we were able to get, we got one awesome package from you. Appreciate it. And there are two other packages. I'm not sure if they're from you or not, but um, I have to actually go to the post office when they're open. I'm rambling, so I haven't gotten those yet. But thank you for your generous gifts. We appreciate it very much. Um, Sherilyn, I was late too. I didn't start until quarter after the hour. Um, I had to take the girls to play practice. So I'm just glad you're here. Anybody have any topics they want to talk about? I'm just here just to, let's just chit chat. I got, got nothing cool to, to say other than hello. Awesome. Okay. Okay, Marge. Um, I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, anyway, hey, do you ever have rabbits just die? I had a rabbit just die. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have not personally had that, but I have a few friends around me that have had issues with that. Um, I've got a friend in Virginia that her, it just kept losing weight and then it passed. Mama Grows, do you have any any advice on that? Um, I've heard coccidiosis is a problem. Um, I don't know if you were able to, if, or if you wanted to, I know if you open them up, you can look at their liver, if there's spots on it. Um, but I'm so sorry for your loss. I've never had a problem. Um, oh, Sarah, you remember that? I was like, what do you remember? Yes. <laughs> okay, Jen, I think you asked me that on a, on a, on a video and I haven't answered that yet. Where do you buy your headband warmers? The crochet ones I actually make. Um, I've been considering selling some. I just haven't um, dared commit to like any mass orders. But if you're interested in a crochet one, um, I can hook you up there. Um, like this one, you know, I've made this one a couple years ago, but yeah, I make these. Um, but if you're looking for like the cloth ones, um, I get them in various places, but I have to talk, I have to, I have to talk, oh my gosh, I can't talk. I talked to my friend who's in here, um, Sarah King, and she may be looking into a pattern that she could maybe sell some of those too. So, um, so if you're interested in any of these type of headbands, email me, Jonah and Trish at gmail.com. Um, I'd say our Facebook message me on our Willow Creek, but I'm really bad at managing that. So maybe don't do that. <laughs> Just try to shoot me an email and I'll try to be good at that. Okay. So the conference was less than an hour from you guys. Awesome. Two wild onions. That was cold. That was a cold weekend. I tell you what cold. Um, we went to Virginia, not West. I know I am silly. Mama grows. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yeah, so the Grateful Sunites, they have a rabbit that is that has been ill, but she is on the mend. She's doing better. I hope so. Awesome. Oh, Wholesome Roots. Hello. They have the Holler Homestead at their place right now. So hello, hello. I, I feel so weird that it's just me. I guess Sophie's here with me, right? I'm, I'm never alone. <laughs> oh, awesome. Let's see. I'm glad he likes it. it says Paige. There are others on the. Oh, you are so sweet, Paige. I really appreciate you. You are very sweet. Um, okay. So the red shed. I'm interested in meat rabbits. Right now we raise Hollands and mini Rexes. That's awesome. You know, we and I'm a little bit behind on the chat. I'm sorry. 
Um, I've really enjoyed raising meat rabbits. I never thought that's something I would ever, ever do. Um, let's see. I've never had one just die. Yeah, okay, sorry. I'm trying to catch up. You should sell them. Yeah, I've, I've thought about it. Um, you know, I just, with editing and everything, I'm just, I don't know where I'd find the time to do a lot. I don't mind doing an order here and there, but I think it would be, it'd be hard, like, if I got a whole bunch all at once. Um, awesome. Hello, Dustin Dean. Well, Shakira in the house. Awesome. Jan, yes, email me. Sorry, I'm trying to catch up, guys. Um, thank you for being patient. Um, Shannon, are you crocheting any cool Christmas things? I'm a knitter, crochet, and spinner. That's awesome. I've not done any knitting, and I would love to try some spinning. Um, honestly, two years ago, I think I did an exclusively crochet Christmas, and it was the funnest Christmas ever. Um, I've just been really struggling with my health and energy and time since starting YouTube. And so I'm not currently working on any cool Christmas projects. I mean, I'm making a hat for Master Luke, um, my little nephew's boy, if you saw today's video. I'm making a little panda hat for him, but that's not really a Christmas thing. Um, so that's kind of fun. Awesome. Thank you, Dolly. She says, good video today. I really appreciate that. Um, let's see. We just got two more silver fox rabbits, says Dustin Dean. I really want to do silver fox. I'd really like to do that breed of rabbit. I almost bought some from a friend and then it just didn't work out. So I would really like to do that too. Um, yes, Jay, I am a busy mama. You're a busy mama who has some quiet alone time and you're choosing to spend it with us. <laughs> That's so true. Thank you. Yeah. I, you know, I just really wanted to come on here and and have a little chat, but it, it feels very nice to be, it's so quiet. I, I thought the kids were down here. They must have gone off with Jonah. It is really nice. Lady, um, la liber, liber lady. Yes. I love my toe shoes. I love my toe shoes. I love them. I'm sad that I can't wear them anymore because it's too cold, but they are hiding for me for the spring. I love my toe shoes. Um, let's see. Hello, the farm on Quail Hollow. Okay, Chubb family is four away from 400 subs. I hope that you hit that tonight. Everybody give Chubb family some love. Farm on Quail Hollow is another great channel. Check her out as well. Okay, um, Mati Campbell, what inspired you to finally start a YouTube channel? Um, Jonah actually um, decided to start one, and I looked at him like he was nuts. I was like, what? <laughs> He's like, yeah, let's start a YouTube channel. I'm like, you're insane. Um, so I know that Justin Rhodes, he followed him quite a bit and felt inspired that maybe we had a story that we could share and maybe help somebody out there. Um, our goal is not to get rich on YouTube, although any money is nice, you know, but, but that's, that's a secondary goal. I mean, we want to have success and to grow in subscribers, but it's not our full on focus, but it is nice, you know, let's be honest. So yeah, we just thought, you know, we just kind of felt compelled. We felt like maybe it was just something that we could do to give back a little bit. And honestly, I was like, who is going to want to watch us? You know, I was like, YouTube, really? I don't want to be one of those groupy people that just do something because it's cool. Anyway, so that is, um, that's what finally got us to, to jump in and start. Um, was was Jonah and then he's had some health problems that has kind of had him step away from the vlog and I've had to carry it which is fine he he joins us when he can and we appreciate that when he's and we, when he's with us I love sharing our whole family but we appreciate your love for what we can show you guys are great I hope I said all that right my mind is a jumbled mess and I am behind again okay Dolly are you tanning hides we um we did do that and we tried in some previous litters that we've had, um, but the fur was really thin and not as nice. We got a different buck, Rolo, because Papa, our first buck, um, injured himself. We had to put him down. Um, so with the new Rex buck, um, we are going to try and tan the hides and see if they're any better. Um, and then the last litter that we just had is from our better Rex that we got from Mama Grows. That's our first litter with him. So we are really excited to um, see if the hides are any better. Um, so yes, I would really, we're really excited about it. Okay, there's a gift that will hopefully help you make cheese batches. Thanks, Paige. That's really nice. I love cheese. And I love that I have my own goat's milk to make cheese. Awesome. Okay. 
I have a panda loving daughter. Awesome, Shannon. Yeah, the, the panda is kind of a, a long story, a, kind of a funny story. Let me see if I can catch up and then maybe I can explain why I'm making him a panda hat. I'm making popcorn cranberry garland. Oh, that's so fun. That, that would, I would like to do that with my kids. That would be really fun. Um, let's see, flashing back to your childhood. That is so cool. Um, Okay, and Sarah says, my seven-year-old daughter is obsessed with pandas. Oh, I love that little seven-year-old daughter of yours. Oh, thanks, Dustin. He says, I'm so fun to watch. I appreciate that. Okay, hey, Christina. Thanks for joining us. I oh, Okay, I'm not as behind as I thought. Okay, we're good. Um, <laughs> the Grateful Sunnites. Jonah's hair and beard have reached some sort of majestic level. Have they not? I take it he's liking the longer hair enough to keep it. Um, yeah, I think he is. Um, you know, it kind of started with, I don't care. I don't, I don't care what I look like. And so he just kept growing it out. And then we're like, we're kind of liking it. So what do you guys think? Are you liking it long? Or is that a little bit too unruly? It is a little bit crazy. But we, we are really liking it. Um, so let's see. Paige, you are so generous. Thank you to help with the weird chicken heads. <laughs> Missy is so random. I really, really appreciate your love. Thank you very much. Um, oh, I didn't see Lorella. Hello, Lorella, not a farm girl. She's another channel to check out. Thanks for joining us. Um, she just went live, and I was in the middle of insane cleaning, so I didn't get on and I felt really bad. Okay, so getting started on homesteading. Thanks for coming. Okay, I'm going to look around a buffalo farm here in Scotland next week. We tried their meat last week. I've heard that's really amazing, homestead in the Highlands. You know, um, we have some buffalo, it's called Antelope Island. Um, kind of where I grew up and it was, they're, they're fun. They're majestic, amazing creatures. Okay. Let's see. I've, I've never tasted it, but I've heard it is really good. Thank you, Mama Grows, for being a great moderator and um, Wholesome Roots. Thank you for being a great moderator. She's also another channel to check out. I don't know if I said that earlier. So um, Dustin Dean also has a channel. I should. I should say that too. And if I'm missing any channels, I'm really sorry. I'm not trying to play favorites here. Um, us moms need to be weird together. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Hello, Miss Alice. She's so fun. I, I used to do a bit of photography and I used, I've taken a lot of pictures of little Miss Alice from Sarah King and I really, really just love them. Awesome. I think he's rocking the look it works for him. Thank you, the Grateful Sunites. Appreciate that. Clueless Homesteaders. Hello. That's a fun name. Okay, I'm getting ready to get the boys to bed, says Wholesome Roots. Liam is fading in my arms, playing hard all day. Poor boy. Um, okay, the red shed. Um, someone convinced me I need a goat, so I convinced my hubby. Oh, you need a goat. You need two goats, at least two goats. <laughs> um, yeah, goats are great, and they're so fun. I love it. Okay. Um, you guys are great. I feel bad that I'm looking at the chat and not you guys. So um, I hope that you're not feeling ignored. Um, anyway, ooh, haggis. I don't think I could do haggis. I don't. I just don't. Had a buffalo and haggis pie the other day. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I watched an amazing race where they made haggis. And I was like, no, I, no, I just don't think. I just don't think I can. Um, the song, Old Hippie Song, goes in my mind about the hair. <laughs> it's funny. Somebody um, put a link. I think about, was it Zach Galifianakis? Is that his name? And they says, oh, we found out what happened to your filming career. And I think they were referring to that Jonah looks like him with the hair and stuff because they had a picture of it. It was, it was kind of funny. <laughs> awesome, Ledette Smith. Thanks for joining us. I'm, again, I'm sorry. It's just me tonight. Jonah's not feeling super great. The older girls are at play practice and um, the littles are watching a movie. Um, it's snowing really crazy outside and it's awesome. Okay, so Chris says, I am I'm interested in soaking wheat. I've ne never done this. Do you have vlogs that teaches how to make bread? Yes, I do. I have a vlog on um, sprouting your own wheat and dehydrating it. And I have two vlogs on bread. The most recent vlog I have is um, a, a better version of my bread. So yes, I do. If any moderators are in the group that have time to go grab those links and throw them in. Um, otherwise, I will try to remember to put them below. 
after we're done. I'm really bad at stuff like that. So I'm sorry. Um, let's see the red shed. Um, can you milk once or do you have to milk twice a day? Right now I'm only milking once a day. Last year when I had the goats, I did twice a day. So I think it's just kind of, I mean, I could milk twice a day. I just choose not to. <laughs> so I have enough milk for my needs. I'm not overflowing with milk. Um, but right now it's enough and it's really all I can handle with my health right now. So that's, that's, that's okay. Okay, Grateful Sunnites, what are some Christmas traditions you guys will be doing this year or what do you, or that you normally do? We always cut down our own Christmas tree. For $15, we can buy a tag and go up in the mountains in a, in a special area. You can't just go wherever, you know, you have to go to a specific area and um, we always cut down our own tree. So we're not huge tradition people and for no other reason maybe that other than we're lazy. <laughs> um but but that is something that we always do. Um, so other than that, we don't have any really. I mean, there are other things that, oh, okay, we like to sit down and read a story Christmas Eve or something. But it's not like, oh. yes, that's what we do. If that makes sense. Oh. Um, okay. Sarah says, I like that Jonah takes care of his hair. It's looking good. Better than my oldest, LOL. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Eh. Haywire Homestead, hello. Who did what, Tim Beverly? Who did what? <laughs> awesome. Yeah, farm on Quahala Hollow. Our Wi-Fi is really terrible here, too. Thank you for finding the link, Mama Grows. I'm sorry to hear Jonah is sick. Yes, Dustin Dean. Probably Shakira. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, he's just having a lot of intense pain. They're thinking it might be an ulcer. We're just trying to figure it out. So he's, it's been, it's been bad. Baby, what? Oh, shark, says Tim. I know, that conference was wonderful, and I regret nothing. <laughs> How much snow are you getting, the farm on Quail Hollow? Right now, it's just kind of just barely covering everything. Um, it's been kind of warm um, and rainy the last few days, so it's sticking, but nothing like crazy yet. So we'll see what we get through the night. Awesome. Sharks from Tim. Thank you, Mama Girls, for putting up that link. Um, okay. I, I hate to be like, um, um, as I'm reading through the comments <laughs> late to the show. Hello from Michigan, Chris. That's great. I'm, I'm glad you're here. I was late too. Um, so, cause I'm, I'm cool like that. Um, okay. Can I ask you something that's been bothering me for a while now? Um, sure. This is influence and um, unless you're a troll and I don't want you to ask anything. <laughs> Um, how is the Amazon shopping going, Tim? I have not gotten to that yet. <laughs> okay. I hate to, this is Destin T. I'm a little bit worried about that question. <laughs> okay. I hope you have a great night. Time to start my project making a window cover. That sounds awesome. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate you coming in. Um, Trish, do you have Hashimoto flare-ups that, um, you have no idea why they happen. Getting super frustrated. Can't find a reason for mine. Yes. Haywire. Yes. Um, yeah. Will somebody get rid of him, please? Um, <laughs> I called it, didn't I? Um, anyway, so um, Hashimoto's. Yes. There were times that I would definitely have um, flare-ups. Let me. I'm going to delete that guy. Sorry. Hang on. Um, okay. Thanks mama girls. Um, yes, it is really frustrating when you don't know what you've eaten, why it's happened. Um, one thing that's really helped me is vitamin C. Make sure you're taking a lot of vitamin C that kind of will help with, with everything. Um, I'm taking some other supplements from my natural path doctor. If you want to email me, I can send you a, a list of what he's having me take. And it's been helping quite a bit. My recent tank of my Hashimoto's has been um, has been my medication change. My doctor, I really like him. He switched me over from the typical chemical um, thyroid pills onto a natural pill. He said most people do awesome. They do great. Well, twenty percent of people don't. I was one of those 20%. Um, I have not felt that sick in a long time. And it wasn't just thyroid. It was other symptoms, other things. Um, 
I don't know, I just, I had just a lot of problems. Um, and so I waited and waited thinking, oh, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I called him. He's like, no, get off of it now. So I reacted to something um, in that natural medication that really, really, really affected me. Um, a lot of different symptoms I get, like sandpaper hands, um, my lips burn and they like peel um, to name a few. And so I, I've been very, very sick um, since switching over, but I'm getting better. Um, so it's just, it's frustrating. And I'm really sorry that you're struggling with a flare that you don't know why. Yes. Dolly says, love the moderators. I do too, guys. Thank you. Thank you. When they asked that question, I was like, Hmm, that sounds like somebody stupid, but I didn't want to be rude and be like, well, not unless you're an idiot, but yeah, sorry. I'll quit rambling. No. <laughs> awesome thank you thank you thank you okay so haywire homestead says i do take additional supplements like curcumin my doctor refuses to change me to another thyroid med i'll send you an email later thank you i'm really sorry that's hard um i am not currently taking curcumin rose at wholesome roots said it's life-changing and i'd like to get me some i just haven't yet i know he's got me on a tincture of ashwagandha and i think rhodiola and something else it helps a lot. I, I don't trust my brain to just rattle it off, or I would right now. I know he's got me on um, vitamin D and some a high dose of vitamin C. Anyway, and some other things. So awesome. Um, the red shed. Glad you're doing better. Such such an up and down roller coaster. It really has been. I was really nervous to switch to natural just because I didn't want that tank. But it was more than a tank. It was a I was just not well yeah, I, in a lot of ways. And so it's been, it's been hard to be so not well for so long. Um, I've got a family and kids and animals and homeschooling and it's just, it all feels so overwhelming. And there's been times where I'm like, I cannot film a vlog today. I can't. And I just, you know, find a little bit of inspiration and your comments, you guys really, really pull me through. I can't even tell you. Um, I got a little bit teary reading a few today. I was like, I just, oh, I just, it, it helps make this worth sharing. Just how oh, you feel like you've created a community and I just cannot tell you what it means to me. You know, I, I appreciate the, the beautiful gifts that we receive and not that they're necessary. They're not, I'm not begging for presents. <laughs> I'm not. Maybe I am. No, I'm kidding. Um, I just, the community and the love that you feel is just so beautiful. And I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, Rose at Wholesome Roots um, ran out of her thyroid meds. That's, that is so hard when you're used to living on a certain level. And then it's like, oh, one thing though, that's been really exciting. Every time my thyroid tanks, I usually gain 15 to 20 pounds, like, like nothing. I have been eating keto diet, terrible English guys. Sorry. I've been eating the keto diet or whatever. And I haven't gained anything. I haven't lost anything, but I have not gained anything. So that is really, really cool. Um, and I appreciate I've had some, I've had some other people send me to another doctor on YouTube um, that talks about the keto and Hashimoto's. And I've appreciated listening to a doctor, assuming he's a doctor, you know, just because you're on YouTube. Maybe I'm a doctor. No, it's been really cool to hear a medical professional talk about how that is good for autoimmune because in the beginning, I, I um, um, only heard how keto can damage your autoimmune. So that, that's been really good. Um, okay. So grateful tonight says that sounds like adrenal support, Trish, the ashwagandha. Yes. All of that is an adrenal thing I have taken for. Yes. And I used to take an actual adrenal supplement too, but he put me on these and it's been really nice. Um, my dad is a big fan of you. Thank you. Um, derpy pigeon. And if I'm saying your name's wrong, I'm sorry. Um, I'm making wholesome roots cry. I'm sorry. I love you. Um, guys, some awesome info, inside info. <laughs> Mama grows. What are you telling people? Trish is not feeling well still. So tired. She could cry. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Hoping she doesn't have the stomach flu. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better tonight, but I woke up this morning feeling like I might be getting the stomach flu. And so I haven't vlogged at all today. Um, we actually had a really fun day. The kids and I went down to the jump center, um, our homeschool group. Um, pays for like field trips. So we went down to the jump zone. That was really fun. You will see Sam sporting a shiner. Um, a rope hit him right here and it actually cut 
right here and it's big and puffy and blue right here. So over the next few vlogs, I'm sure he's going to look really, really cool. But they had a lot of fun. They had a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, I just wasn't feeling super great, but um, I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Okay. So and, um, let's see, Chris says, I'm so sorry. You feel so, uh, you feel bad so much. I don't know what it feels like. God bless you. Thank you, Chris. And I don't know what it would feel like to feel good all the time. So you just roll with it. <laughs> So um, the red shed, you guys, let's see, I'm sorry, I clicked on something. Okay, you guys make me want to go back to the dock. I have such brain fog at time and exhaustion, but besides being anemic, they don't diagnose anything else. The red shed, it's so hard. There are three thyroid tests. Um, Hashimoto's is very common. Um, thyroid problems, very common, um, more so in women than men, but it is still something. There are three thyroid tests that they're not testing all three, um, then they're stupid and they need to. There's a book that Rose at Wholesome Roots' doctor told her to get, and I bought it kind of on accident and I haven't read it yet, but it's, um, what's the title? Something, um, what to do when your thyroid tests are normal, but you still feel like crap, basically. Um, if, if Rose is still in the group, maybe she can say what that book is called, but that might be something you'd want to look into reading. Um, okay. Sorry. I'll try and catch up now. Grateful Sunite said when I went sugar free, that cleared up a lot of the, my brain fog. Yeah. Sugar is a big deal or some, um, or some cleaning your guts out. Maybe you have some candida problems. So maybe look up candida, see if that might um, do anything with that. Um, hey, why are you lost? You gained weight on keto. I'm so sorry. Glad it is keeping you maintained, right? So I, I feel better on keto. I, I'm really grateful for that. Um, Homestead in the Highlands. My thyroid is pretty much dead these days. Doesn't matter what I eat. I still gain. It's so hard. I know. Have you tried cutting grains? Have you tried being more paleo? That has made all the difference in how I feel. Um, let's see. Chris says, this is funny. I just seen your dog in the background. Uh oh. And from here, it looks like she's wearing a black pair of pants. <laughs> she's funny. I don't think she's so sweet. I, you know, it's so weird to think that, um, where she came from. She needs a haircut so bad. She looks so, she looks, she looks sad. Um, yes, mama gross. Glad he didn't eat stitches. Me too. And it was in the eyelid. So gosh, how would they stitch that? But it was just, a. um, I guess they'd stitch it like anything else. I'm grateful that it didn't damage the eye, but right here is really big and puffy. Um, and purple, like almost immediately he came over and he's like, I'm like, what happened? <laughs> so, um, and then Missy got it in the nose and it smashed her glasses up. You know, what do you do? But yeah, I'm, I'm glad it was just a little, a little cut, but it is, it's going to be, it's going to be a bruise. Um, let's see. Haywire. She's talking to mama grows. Um, yes. Don't give up. Haywire. Do not give up. Okay, take some activated charcoal, Trish. Okay, I've heard Rose give that to her goats, but I've never done that um, myself. Awesome. Okay, I don't have any, dang it. Grateful Sunites, I should get some. I need to get some for my goats. Maybe I have some. No, that's not. Dang it, that would, that would be helpful for stomach bugs. That would be good. Let's see. You guys are being patient with me. Thank you. Um, see. Do you feel like the Jeopardy music should be playing? <laughs> they make me feel like an idiot for wanting the test done. The Red Shed. I hate when medical professionals make you feel that way. It makes me really, really mad. Um, Haywire, thanks for that book suggestion. Mama tried Homestead. Hello. Um, it's frustrating. I know Jonah went to a doctor today and they're like, Meh, and I was like, oh my gosh, I hate it. You know, it's like, just listen to me. My current doctor I'm seeing, I called him a few days ago. I said, I'm still feeling yucky. He's like, up this dose of this medicine. I'm like, thank you. I just feel listened to and it makes all the difference. I don't know if you've got options for other doctors out there, Haywire, but keep looking, keep trying. And I'm so sorry. Okay. The best thing about the Homestead community is most of us have some form of chronic illness. I know, isn't that interesting? I don't feel like crap about mine now. I see so many other others succeeding, gives me hope. That's so great. I'm glad. 
I'm glad. And some days it wins and some days it doesn't. And you just have to keep pushing. And I know a lot of the animals that we've gotten have been to help supplement because I can't eat other things. And so it's it's interesting that those of us that are sick try to get closer to the land to heal ourselves. I think that's really beautiful. Um, yeah, so the red shed says, but I'm more tired now than when I had my babies and I got 12 kiddos. So <laughs> Jonah comes from a family of 11, so I can I can relate. I came from a family of six. So yeah, it's hard. Um, somebody had mentioned in today's vlog, watching me with Master Luke, um, they, it said, it makes me wonder if you want another one, Trish. And I'm like, I don't think I can handle. I have a hard time that my older kids have to parent my younger kids now. Um, so there's no way I could handle another baby. And Sarah broke me. So that's another story for another day. But there's no more babies coming out of here. But but yeah, we're, I'm grateful that I can enjoy babies and give them back. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Um, Yes, Mama Grows. She says, I wonder if all these autoimmunes are just are just so new and we don't have all the answers. Our food has changed so much. Weed is not weed anymore. Um, and our world is so blue. Yeah, do not. Let's. Uh, that's a whole nother live chat. Mama Grows and I should go live together and talk about that on a live show. That would be cool. Um, I've learned so much from Miss Mama Grows. Um, I love that a new friendship comes in and you... Um, you learn from them and it's really great. Hello, Roots and Refuge in the house. I'm behind in the chat. Thanks for joining us. I know life's busy and crazy. So, okay, you can put it in capsules. I'm betting that is the activated charcoal. Yes, I've seen it at Walmart. Um, and I know that I'm, I wanna get some for my goats. So I'm going on an all fermented grain diet. That's awesome, Tim. Beer. I know, I was gonna say, wait. <laughs> Good for you. We are iodine and mineral deficient as a national crisis. I so agree with that. I so agree with that, Liber Lady. So great. Um, I know Mama Gross. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm a gluten, dairy, corn, and avoid sugar. It has helped some. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, it, it's hard. It's hard, and it's hard to not be able to eat you know, what everybody else is eating. You know, today my kids were complaining because they didn't get that cookie at the party we were at. And oh, and I didn't get this. And I'm like, I didn't get anything. Be grateful you got something. So it's hard to be different. But when you feel better, you feel better. And it's worth it. Awesome, Jess. Roots and Refuge, they just um, cooked dinner. About to light my Christmas tree. We need to go cut ours down. We're hoping Joan is feeling better this weekend and we can go get it. Um, and I'm hoping I feel better soon that we can decorate the house. It's going to be like Christmas Eve before we get the house decorated. I'm really trying to almost force the Christmas spirit. I don't know. I'm just, I'm having a hard time feeling it. I love Christmas. I hate how commercialized it is. I hate stressing about buying things. Um, you know, I just, I have a hard time. And so I've been listening to a lot of pentatonics Christmas, um, because it doesn't agitate me. Sometimes I just get really agitated with different music and I'm like, Tar -ha -ha! but pentatonics right now is soothing me. Um, and Sarah last night was singing that Mary, did you know song? It was so sweet. I caught a little bit of on the vlog, um, that will go up in a, in a couple of days. I think on Saturday, if I can get it up, but it was really sweet. Um, Okay, so Chris says, I really want to start gardening and learning to can. I just found out I had hypothyroidism. I'm sorry, but I'm still searching for a doctor who will actually run tests I need. Goats are on my list too. That's awesome, Chris. Yes, goats are a list on. Everybody needs goats. Everybody. And um, gardening, don't talk to me about that. Um, let, let's mama grows, roots and refuge, wholesome roots. <laughs> gardening and I, I'm going to try though, dang it. If it's going to kill me, I will have a garden. I have compost. That's the first start, right? <laughs> oh, awesome. Let's see. Hi, Roots and Refuge. I love you and Trish. You both should get together. Awesome. Yeah, that, Jess is awesome. I really, I just love her little smiling face. And her boys are so cute. Meeting them at the conference, I was like, I just want to squish them. <laughs> Oh, yes, Lorella, thank you. Don't force it. Just do what you can do. I just don't want the holiday season to, to pass, and I feel like I missed out. So you're right. Do what I can. You're right. Last year, we did a fun um, collaboration with Lorella. 
she had a bunch of channels go through and um, submit their their favorite snow clip or something. So it was fun. The kids and I went out and made snow angels. And so that's on her channel. But I love the the community of, of YouTubers that are here. That's really fun. Um, so the Grateful Sunites for getting a real tree this year. First in our marriage. That's so fun. We usually have a fake one. Nothing wrong with a fake one, but there's a magic and a real one too. We just don't know when to get it. So it was so so nice for Christmas. You know, when we find we cut ours off the mountain, um, sometimes they regrow, new growth. And then I feel like I can feed it to my goats for a natural dewormer. But if I buy it off a lot, I don't dare because I don't know what they've done to those trees. But if I get it from the mountains, I really like that. So I hope you enjoy your your tree. And I kind of like to pick the funky, ugly ones, you know, because then it's it's our family. We picked it together. It's really fun. Um, let's see, Homestead and Highlands. We don't have any kids, so Christmas is a low-key thing for us. I prefer to make presents than buy them. Yes, yes. I prefer I love to create presents for my kids, but I just haven't had time and energy. Really, most of it's energy. And so hopefully. I can get back into that. Um, I feel like Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas is so rushed anymore. I agree, the red shed. It's like, it just boom, boom, boom. And I hate the commercialism of it. I don't mind presents and gifts. I don't mind that at all. Um, and I've kind of quit getting so angry about the early Christmas decorations and stuff because I'm like, what is that doing for me? Because I'm so angry about it. Like if I see it in October, I get so mad. And then it's like, how do you let go of that hate? in like 30 days and be like, Oh no, it's fine. So I've really tried to just, I don't hate anymore. I just, it's like, it is what it is. People can, you know, I know mama grows in her video. I think it was today. She had talked about, you know, the closer you get to Christmas, the more mean people are. And, and so it's good to, to buy early. So then you can enjoy the Christmas spirit and not stress about it. So there's my 50 cents on the matter. Okay, everybody needs goat and quail. LOL, yes, haywire. Uh, we're really hoping we can do quail this this next year. I kill everything. It should be interesting. <laughs> That's awesome, Chris. I I struggle. I struggle. And this next year, we do not want free range chickens. This year, it just kind of happened, and it stayed that way because of life circumstances. <laughs> but uh, we are so tired of poop all over our porch, all over our back patio. And then they went through, and they decimate your garden. And no, we just, no, we are going to be doing some different things with the chickens next year. So it should be, let's see, you can have a garden, Trish. You can do it, Roots and Refuge, then fly out here and help me. <laughs> Mama Grows actually started some seedlings for me and everything and I planted some of it and they all I got a banana squash that was probably I don't know that big <laughs> so, <laughs> oh I just I don't know I had a really nice garden in the home where we lived before moving here but moving here um you know the climate change and the soil changes it just is to stress me out. And not to mention the first year we moved in, um, Jonah shattered his arm coming off his motorcycle. I replaced both of my knees. Um, and then the year after that, um, I had to have a hysterectomy and some other repairs. And so, I mean, it's just been something. And then the year after that, I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's. So there's my sob story. So, cause we've been here, it'll be four years this spring. So <laughs> this is my year. We're going to do it. And I have compost and it's so hot and steamy. I am so excited. I thought it would die in the cold temperatures and I thought I'd kill it. Let's be honest. I'm really excited. Ben Holler from the Holler Homestead started it for me when they came and visited. He fixed it. I had a compost pile that was a sad pile of nothing and he magically fixed it and I've been able to keep it going. So that's been really, really awesome. Okay. How far behind am I? Um, <laughs> Oh, so far behind. So sorry. I'm sitting here chatting about nothing. Um, there are good doctors out there that will listen. Yes, keep looking. Um, okay, I'm just gonna just gonna kind of I will have a butter garden next year. Yes, wholesome roots has struggled with that. Um, with her own health. It's just it takes a toll. I'm useless at gardening, but watch this just as videos video has made me want to try again. That's awesome. Yes. It's so fun to find a homesteader channel or something that can inspire you to do and to be better. I know mama grows makes me want to recycle better. 
She wants me to reuse and recycle. It's, it's, it's great. <laughs> Let's see. Shannon says, I feel like I'm going to have to force it here too. I just really feel off and humbuggish at the moment. Right, me too. So it's just... You just have to do what you can. Did you ever try the goat meat you got from that farm? Yes, Paige, we did. Um, and the kids couldn't. So so I tried, we tried the ground goat meat and I put it in um, spaghetti. And so obviously nobody knew what it was because it was in spaghetti. And actually the little like steaks and stuff, we they were really freezer burnt and gross. So we did not get to taste that. But our butcher shop sells goat. We've thought about um, we've thought about buying some and trying it. That leads into another discussion about what we're going to do with our goats. Let me get caught up and see if I have time to talk about that. If not, I'll do a vlog or maybe next live chat we'll talk about that. Um, and then we will not probably be going live next week because it's opening night of the play. So um, thank you, moderators. Appreciate it, Rose. Um, again, everybody check out my moderators' channels. Really appreciate them very much. Um, so the Grateful Sunites wanted this to be their homemade Christmas, but if the move is happening. I'm knitting, knitting each them a toy, though. Um, that's great. And they're going to love those toys. That's really great of you. Um, let's see. I made a sister, a box of some herbs, garlic and potatoes. I grew for a few years ago. She told people I gave her a luxury organic camper. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I hate the commercialism too. It's sad, right? Jess at Roots and Refuge, right? It's bad. I see you crocheting sometimes. Wish you could do video on that, on a project. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Too many live shows. I know I usually go live from six to seven and I know the Pratts would go live at seven and I was a little bit late coming on the live. So I'll probably hang out for another few minutes. But if you guys need to pop off to a different one, I totally understand. I debated quail and was planning on a goat and a sheep this spring. I want sheep, but I'm saving every penny for our adoptions. I don't know if that will happen. Okay. So I don't know anything about that. I, maybe you have a video that I'm missing. That's awesome that you're adopting. Um, that's, that sounds like a fun story. Um, okay, so Mama Girls can't find it. Um, I missed what you're looking for. I'm sorry. Okay, Church Fear Garden Struggling Twins. Yes, we should do a collaboration on that. Like you see, you see great gardeners doing collaborations on their gardens. We should do a collaboration <laughs> on here's my dirt pile. <laughs> I was happy to start seeing she, Mama Girls is my favorite. Wow, I'm so behind, you guys. I'm so sorry. Hey, Wire, thanks for coming. I'm going to kind of scoot down. If I've missed anything, please ask again. Um, let's see. Oh, my gosh, I'm so behind. What's wrong with them? Trish, yours is the only channel that makes me want rabbits. Awesome. Roots and Refuge, that's great. Usually I'm like, no, but yours are those sweet little buckets. Just makes me think I could do that. I love our colony. I don't think I could do rabbits in cages. Personally, I just don't. I love, love, love our colony setup. It makes me happy to see them very, um, very just in nature. And there are some things I have definitely learned. And I want to re, this next spring, I'm going to be re- um, changing some things. I have two buckets that the entrances are fairly close to each other. That's a no-no um, that I'm learning because one mama has babies in this one and one mama has babies in this one. And this mama gets mad when this mama goes in. It's not good. It would be best to have the entrances outside of feral mouth ranges. <laughs> so, And that's something I plan to do a video on, on what have I learned in the year that I've had a colony and what would I do different? So I'm going to definitely be highlighting that for anybody that wants to do a colony that can save you some, some things like that. So um, let's see. Thank you, the Red Shed. I appreciate that. Um, okay. Um, Teresa Winters. Trish, have you ever heard of drinking donkey milk? No, I have not. There's a girl here in Oklahoma that was very ill. Her mom started giving her donkey milk, and it really helps her. You might check into that. Interesting. Yeah. I milk and a donkey. That sounds, I mean, sure. Why not? I've heard that sheep's milk is very, very good. Never heard about milking a donkey. I know Rose at Wholesome Roots, her boys are talking about milking a pig. That was really funny. Um, so I just bought a pair of golden pheasants, pick them up tomorrow. The boys say, Oh, homestead in the Highlands. That is so fun. That is so fun. We have pheasants that run around wild here and they're beautiful. I wouldn't mind having some on my homestead, that would be really cool. 
So yes, um, Farm on Quail Hollow says Roots and Refuge um, rabbits are a great addition. We had a lot of them. Process and freeze that are stocked, super easy. Exactly. And we have nine that we just processed. And then we've got five that will process the end of January. And then, of course, the ones from Panda, if they all survive, they seem good. Um, we were really nervous about Panda actually taking care of them. But um, they all seem good so far. We were not planning on having babies all through the winter. But um, that's another thing we need to do better at is the bucks. Actually, the, the girls sneak into the bucks. So we need to have a more secure fence for the bucks. And that will happen as well. But until then, you just do the best you can. That's all that you can do is the dang best you can. <laughs> yes, Laurel is in an ugly garden collaboration. I think we need to make that happen. Um, and the Grateful Sunites, ours are in cages because I want their poop. It's a reason I got them, but I love the idea of colony style. It just seems more natural. You know, Grateful Sunites, they, they still pick a spot in the colony and you just go shovel the spot of poop. We still are able to process the poop. So, and you know, no shame on anybody with cages. I know that my friend in Virginia, um, she has them in cages for safety reasons. And I totally, you do what's good for your area. Um, I know we've had a couple suggestions to bring Panda and her babies to the garage or inside. Quite frankly, they are safer where they're at with my dogs. Um, they're safer out there. So that's kind of why I haven't thought of bringing them in. Just, just not safe. I fermented cranberries. Oh, Chris, that sounds good. Fermented cranberries. Your family would love. I made half a gallon. Wow. That's awesome. Um, what's a colony? Um, Dion Sanders, it's a, instead of rabbit cages, it's just our big fenced in enclosure that they can go in the ground and kind of live a more natural rabbit lifestyle instead of being on a cage, in a cage. Awesome. Getting started on homesteading. Thanks for coming. I hope I said that before you left. Thank you for joining us. Um, let's see, Kathy used to have 250 rabbits back in the eighties and nineties. We'll do it again. Once I get moved, love your channel. Thank you, Kathy. I can't even imagine. I don't even know how many we have, but not even close to, I mean, I think we have less than 20 at the moment. That's insane. I should have brought some water with me. Um, let's see. Um, okay. They say it's more nutrition than goat's milk. Um, the donkey milk. That just sounds so funny to say donkey milk. Anything new is just weird. And then it's like, oh, I had a really hard time eating rabbit to begin with, to be honest. A really hard time. I'm like, I cried. The first dispatch we did, I cried. I was like, this is a bunny. How can I eat a bunny? You know, no, but I thought it's very good for you. It's it's cheap to raise. The pelts can be used to be processed. You can utilize more of the animal. Um, my family's really grown to love the meat. Even Sam, who is the rabbit master, he is he's come so far. And you know, anytime you raise an animal, pigs are cute. I really enjoyed our pigs. It was really hard for me to process those pigs. I think anytime you associate with your food face to face and look it in the eye, it's something changes. And um, it's really a beautiful thing. I recommend it. You know, and if you can't raise your own meat, um, I don't know, try to find somebody that local that can and be as involved as you can. It, there's something about it that just changes. Okay. Um, Yes, do the best you can. Yes, people, this, so this. Yes, thank you. Okay, can you tell us what happened to Art and Homesteading? Uh, um, you know, trying to accomplish everything they need to do as far as rebuilding their home and Trent with his art career. Um, they just decided that, and they're very private people, so putting them the, their lives out in the public eye um, was just more than I think they, they wanted to do. And so they're great people. They're doing great. Um, you know, they've talked a little bit about the possibility of coming back to YouTube if they sell enough of um, Laura Jean's dolls. More of that would be on the vlog that we did. I, I think it, it's called the Unique Dinner Party or something with Art and Homesteading. So if you're interested in that, check that out. Uh, but honestly, I don't know. I don't know if they'll come back. Um, and they might. They might not. But they're they're doing great. So they just have chosen to kind of take a step back. Um, okay. Let's see. 
I am late. Hey, Dixie, thanks for coming. Um, Art Homesteading posted a live video yesterday. How did I miss that? Okay, I missed that. Um, goat's milk is the best race my children are. That's awesome, Kathy. Yeah, I'm really, uh, you know, I grew up thinking goat's milk was disgusting. And then I tried some and I was like, oh, this is really good. You can have disgusting goat's milk. You know, it, not all goats are created equally. You have to be picky. Um, yeah, Lorella, I didn't love venison either. I grew up on venison and I just, I don't know. It's, but there again, Rosa Holson just loves venison. And I think it depends on where you're at. The mule deer here in our area, they live on sagebrush. They don't taste good. So I've heard there's white tailed deer that are a lot tastier. And I think like if you process a deer that like eats corn, like around my mom's house and eats her garden, then absolutely, they're probably delicious. But when you go hunting for them up in the mountains, um, they don't taste good. They're good as jerky. <laughs> um, let's see. The only problem with donkey or horse milk is they only have one baby and don't produce anywhere near as much milk as some other animals who have multiple babies, such as goat and sheep. That's interesting. Homesteading in the Highlands. And I, it just sounds weird. I'm going to go milk my horse for some milk today. But I'm mean, nothing wrong with it, I'm sure. Yes, yeah, so Grateful Sun Nights. I'm not a meat eater. But when I was a kid, I loved venison jerky from my dear. My dad and brothers would get. That's awesome. So there's a disturbance in video. Um, is there something wrong with the video? Um, or did I misread that? Or, you know, I don't trust my brain these days. <laughs> so, um, awesome, the Red Shed. Thanks for coming, putting the kids to bed. Um, I got to go get the girls in about 45 minutes. It's only seven o'clock here. So, we've got a couple more hours before bedtime. Chris says, Oh, yes, we have white tailed deer here in Michigan. They are amazing. But I, people out here don't tell you where to hunt, they're very hushed. So, being new to the area, we need to try and get in with the people that will talk. Um, now, I don't like deer from way up north. They definitely taste more gamey. Yes, they're very. Even some elk that Jonah brought home, I was like, mm. um, Okay, Mama Gross says the video is good now. I couldn't tell if it was my internet. Interesting. I'm sorry, guys. Thanks for hanging in with me, though. I'm a horse repo person and horse midwife. That is so fun. So I am full of useless information on horse repair. <laughs> Not useless. And, you know, we are really, really, really hoping um, – to get horses again. We had one horse a few years ago and we really would just love to have another horse. Jonah and Emma, their horses are like in their very soul. They're so good with them and we really would love to do that again. Um, so not useless information. I love that. Um, Paige, Mama Gross said to send you two. <laughs> no, Paige, <laughs> 200 quail. Um, maybe next year. <laughs> no, if 200 files showed up tomorrow, I'd be like, ah. um, interesting. Yeah. I guess the live stream didn't like me talking about art and homesteading. <laughs> They're great people. Um, we are not set up. That would be a panic, right? <laughs> Hello from India, Cameron. Did I say that right? Hello. Thanks for joining us. What time is it there in India? Um, two horses, never just one on its own. That's great. That's like goats, right? Yeah, we had one horse, but we didn't keep it alone. It stayed with at my brother's house, and there were lots of other horses around. Um, and we we rehabilitated him. He was very old, very skinny, and we bought him. We should have offered to take him and not report them for the conditions that he looked like. Anyway, that's another long story. But we had him for about a year. Um, until he started losing weight again. And I wasn't willing to allow him to starve to death twice because, I mean, he was probably a week to dying. I mean, he was so, he was so far gone. And so I wasn't willing to let him starve to death twice. So we made the hard choice and put him down. Um, but we would really like to get um, more horses, especially now that we have the property for it. Oh, 7.45 a.m. That's fun. So it's like a whole day because it's 7.17 right now. Hello, my specials. Um, anyway, so, yeah. So there's that about the horses. Um, we're getting close to our hour point. Does anybody have anything else they want to discuss or talk about before we sign off for the night? The specials are home. Yeah, they were just what were you up with that. These two were up. Oh, they were up in Sam's room. Okay, Mama Gross wants to see your eye. Buddy, you want to show? Yeah, get close. This is the camera right here. Okay, so get 
Yeah, look at that, guys. And that just happened a few hours ago. So some of that is some dried blood. But look at that. And it was so puffy right here. And so it's good to see that it's flat now. But yeah, in the owie. So awesome. Um, let's see. While everyone says goats need goats, friends, my dairy goat prefers the company of our lambs. It's interesting, except when she's in season. That's interesting. Um, Chris says, hello, cuties, throwing you kisses. Yeah, right, Chris Root. That is a nice shiner. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he didn't even, like, come to me crying or anything. He just came to ask me a question. I was like, what did you do? Lorella, thanks for coming. Have a good night. Yes, I'm glad he's okay. Okay, so for those that have come in later, we were at the trampoline jump zone um, with our homeschool group today, and they have swinging ropes where you can swing and, like, fall into a pit. And um, it came back and smacked him in the eye. So I'm really glad that – and it was it was um, bleeding just a little bit, but I'm glad that it wasn't worse. Come, huh, buddy. Yep. So um, – Love you and the kids and your humor. Thank you. I appreciate that. I love that you guys, you know, it's just fun. In in this world, nobody likes everybody. So it's fun to meet people that appreciate and like us. So thank you. We really appreciate you joining us. Kathy, good night to you. Okay. Well, we are at our hour. So if there's anything anybody else wants to talk about, I mean, we'll stay on here for another few minutes. Otherwise, we will. Um, take a break and like I said we won't be going live next week because of um <laughs> somebody get rid of that guy please. <laughs> um, trolls are so dumb um, so, um and now I don't even know what I'm saying um anyway so <laughs> Let's see. Grateful Sunnites. I've got to go film Kurt building a rabbit cage. That's awesome. Thanks for coming. Oh, it's okay. He's a tough cowboy. Anyway, yes, he's a good, he's a good kid. Thank you, Mama Grows. Thank you, Shiner. We'll be pretty in the morning. Yes, I'm it'll it'll look really cool. Um, everybody, check out my moderators. Appreciate them coming. They've got great channels. Please check them out. Um, we also shouted out some other channels too. Check them out too. Um, Grateful Sunites is one of them that I'm just seeing right here in the feed. Um, so appreciate everybody coming tonight. We'll go ahead and sign off. I hope your Christmas holiday is awesome. I think I was starting to say we're not going live next week because of the opening of the play. <laughs> and then Mr. Troll got me all, you know, thinking about other things. So Alice ran into a poll at school and got a great goose egg. Oh, that was fun. I enjoyed reading the chat and spending time. Thank you, Sarah, for joining us. You guys make it worth it. We really do appreciate you very much. <laughs> so um, Mama Grows had me laughing when she lost her keys. And she, I love my Mama Grows. She's awesome. Um, awesome. Yes, we will be highlighting the play the best that we can. Emma is a lead character. And Missy is um, one of the supporting characters. So it'll be really fun to share that with you guys. You're awesome. Have a great night. And thank you for joining us. We truly appreciate it. What do you say? <laughs> if I could push stop, that would be good, right? <laughs> <laughs>